I got for you. I got the Motorola Hint. The motor. <clears throat> so Motorola actually had this device out on the market, and I never actually saw it. And then information leaked or was brought to light yesterday of someone seeing the Hint 2 in a Best Buy okay. for sale. So if you look at that little device, and it looks a lot bigger on the screen than it is in real life, that is an earbud. And that earbud is the entire Bluetooth headset. Oh, jeez. Um, That's it? Like I said, I, I didn't actually see many of these out in the real world before, but the, and this is the second generation, which they it seems like they quietly released. Um, the big thing is it gets 70% more talk time. So it has... 17 hours of talk time on a small earbud. Um, what I'm interested in also, they say they improve the audio and voice control. Obviously, you're going to be controlling a lot of things with your voice since there's really not much of a button. Um, I'm interested in the sound quality on this, especially when talking. Um, the device does cost about 130 bucks, which is $20 less than the, than the first version. Um, when you think about it, think about chopping the bottom of your your earbud off for like your that you get with your iPhone or mm -hmm. whatever other device, and just putting that little thing in your ear, and that's pretty much what this that's is. It. Um, I, to me, this is pretty slick and getting 17 hours of talk time. That's not standby. Um, you're gonna have to charge your phone multiple times to to even talk that long. Um, so. Like I said, I'm interested in testing this out. I've been testing out a lot of different headsets recently um, for something we're working on at work. And 17 hours of talk time is completely amazing to me. Um, the one thing I would like them to see them do is kind of put some kind of little USB dongle that comes with it um, for devices that may not make use of the best that it has to offer as far as Bluetooth is concerned. Um, but that's kind of a TBD, but I, I think I'm actually going to try to get one of these to give it a whirl. I, I want to see what the background noise is like. Like when I'm, I have the LG tones that AJ had and walking down the street with those, you pick up every car that drives by. I was going to say, so these, these are settled pretty much right in your ear, right? Right. So like, yeah, that microfan can't be good because what's going to pick what's it going to pick up or is it doing like remember those the throat ones that actually like went around your throat and kind of used vibrations in your throat to pick up your voice right does right. this pick up something through the ear canal i i don't know um but i i do want to i do want to hear or i do want to see what this is like um and how much background audio it's picking up i'm mm -hmm. guessing based on if you look very closely at the the uh, flat black part right there. For those of you <laughs> on audio, you don't know where I'm pointing. But that, um, there's that little slit yeah. up, up in the center there. Yeah. I'm guessing between that and the bottom slit, one of those is probably noise cancellation in some way, shape, or form. So maybe they, they have kind of solved it. When, when you look at some of the... Who makes the era? Bear with me one second. Jabra. Or Jawbone. Jawbone makes the arrow, which doesn't come down very far. Mm -hmm. But they have this technology called Noise Assassin, which they use for noise cancellation that actually works extremely well. Um, so maybe they've solved something that we don't know about. The other thing, the only other thing that I do not like about this, I've tried to, I'm trying to standardize more of my charging and for all my devices. This has like a weird four pin device that it sits in um if you click on that website click the link that says moto hint mm -hmm. and it takes you to a page and scroll down just a smidge and you can see the third picture on the right on the top it goes in this little unit um for charging which i'm not a huge fan of um that i have to carry this extra thing around to charge it what'll be interesting is uh, that's a power pack so it, so it can hold a charge on its own as well okay and i'm wondering if that i've seen other manufacturers do this where that takes into account for the 17 hours 
So does the power pack hold four charges? And that's it's four four hours per charge. I so don't, I don't uh, this isn't something that's going to live in your ear like for seventeen hours. It's going it's going to be kind of uh, uh, on hand, and you pick it up when you need it, right? Yeah, I, that I don't know. That's that's where I don't know. There, there's not enough information yet that's mm -hmm. broken about the device, but I'm guessing this is probably going to tie into something else because I think Motorola has a big announcement next week. Okay. Um, so stay tuned. But oh, and it battery life uh, 15 minutes of charge time. It gets eight hours of battery life with 15 minutes of charge time. Oh, that's the Moto X. I don't know. So I don't know. We'll we'll see. I'm definitely probably going to pick one of these up. Awesome. Go Just check it out. It's the Moto Hint. And when's it going to be available? It's available now. It is available now. Yeah. I'm wondering if Best Buy got it on the shelves early. Mm -hmm. But well, I guess we'll find out. All right. Go check that out. Katie, you have Hi. something. I, I, it sounds like you're, there's a story involved in this. Oh, in real life stuff.